still alive. The baby. to go. Okay, Samus. Everything's normal. I awoke to the familiar voice of a quarantine officer. Let's try sitting up, huh? Slowly now. A dream. I had been reliving the tragic moments of my recent past. Thanks to the hyperbeam, which was given to me somehow by the baby, I laid Mother Brain to waste. And the explosion that followed destroyed Planet Zebus along with the remains of Mother Brain, the Space Pirates, and my long-standing nemesis, Ridley, and the baby. Come on, Samus. Let's go next door. Samus? Let's start with a little warm-up. Try a charge beam for me. Sharp-looking charge beam, just the way I like it. Drop some bombs. Okay, get out of morph ball mode and return to normal. Perfect, Samus. All right, stand in the middle of the room. <laughs> Surprised? From there, kick climb to work your way up. Just like that, Samus. Let's invite some of your pals.
Okay, looking good. Let's check your reaction time. Here come some beams. Dodge them. Okay, those are the moves I remember. Nice. Remember how that feels. Next, how about a missile test? Use concentration to replenish your missile supply. One of your pesky buddies is lurking here somewhere. Find him for me, huh? Why not say hello with a missile? Try using a power bomb. This area is well fortified, so don't hold back. Allow adequate room around you during power bomb. All right, Samus. That's it for the test. Looks like you took quite a bit of damage. It's unbelievable how well you've held up. I wondered if this, too, was a result of the power the baby gave me. Right. You're doing the meeting room. The big dogs are waiting. I gave your suit a polish so you'd be at least somewhat presentable. Not even a fragment. None of the baby remained on me. I knew it to be true, but still couldn't help looking at my palm for a sign. Never again would I encounter the baby. Never. The finality of it struck me once again. Mission completed. The planet Zebes was annihilated and all Metroids were exterminated. A simple report, almost dull even, but it felt momentous to me. I don't know how much time passed since then. Days went by in their quiet way, and people's recollections of Metroids and space pirates grew nebulous over time relegated to a past concern of the galactic communities. Nothing more than a faded memory. Codename Baby's Cry. A common SOS with the urgency of a baby crying. The nickname comes from the fact that the purpose of the signal is to draw attention. The signal was coming from a remote part of space. I altered the course of my ship as if this detour had already been part of my flight plan. Baby's cry. It was as though it was crying specifically for me.
Galactic Federation. Remember me? Anthony. There's only one person who calls me Princess. And that person is Anthony Higgs of the Galactic Federation Army. Haven't seen you since that last mission. Hey, and your buddy's here too. Adam Malkovich. A general in the Galactic Federation Army. Not only a trusted confidant, but also my former superior officer. Yes, there was a time when I was enrolled in the Galactic Federation Army. And then I... Well, I was young and inexperienced. As the result of a certain incident, I left Adam's command and set out on my path as a solitary bounty hunter. doing here the first words out of his mouth were typical coming from Adam to answer his question I recounted the details of what had brought me to this place and then I asked what circumstances led the Federation here that information is not for an outsider the word he so obviously chose outsider pierced my heart Commander, we're all prepped. Ah, no dice. I think our only option is to use the laser to slowly burn our way through. This is gonna take a while. The electrical system here is out, and we can't get the barrier wall to open. We tried using explosives, but it's tricky to pull off without collateral damage. What we need is some way to focus the power onto one centralized location. Adam hadn't authorized it, but I decided to remain on site for the sake of the others. <laughs> 